naturally. Cream blush and gel brushes. Cleat. <laughs> Cream blush. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Destiny, here, and I come to you today with a blush brush video. I absolutely love blush and blush brushes, so I wanted to share some of my favorites with you guys. I get a lot of questions about what type of brushes I use and what type of brushes are better for what type of blush and why, so today I want to kind of address those questions. I want to go ahead and start out with one of my favorite tools for blush, especially for the summer, especially for oily skin or mature skin, and I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to the beauty blending sponge and I'm pretty sure you're very very well acquainted with this now the reason I bring this up is because gel blush cream blushes and if you're going to use a lipstick as a blush I think it should kind of be applied with something like this because it's so creamy and with this how you use it is using it moist it really helps to blend the product into your skin it helps to spread it out naturally Cream blush and gel blush can look fabulous or horrible, depending on how you apply it. So I definitely recommend using one of these for your cream or your gel blushes. Or if you don't have one of these, I'm pretty sure you have one of these. Now this is my Sigma, I can never remember the name of these brushes, I swear. This is my Sigma F50 dual fiber brush. Now if you can get one of these, or if you can even get one of the smaller ones, I think Target sells one. Um, I think it's like their basic, their basic brand that comes in that blue and white package, kind of generic. Well, they sell a mini dual fiber brush, and I think it's absolutely brilliant for applying creamy and emollient or gel blushes to your cheeks because it helps, like I said before, to spread it out a lot better than, say, a, a, a brush would, a regular traditional blush brush would. Speaking of traditional blush brushes, most blush brushes are very fluffy and I think that is because blush is one of those things where you don't want it to look too exact and too staged. You want it to be controlled and you want it to be flattering but you still want it to look soft and you don't want it to be able to tell where your blush ends and begins. You don't want any harsh lines or any streaks or anything like that. So I really really like this brush for that. It's very fluffy but it's not too fluffy. It's easy to control. It's dense but not too dense. It's tapered well, it's soft, and it really, really helps you to blend brush brilliantly and just flawlessly and effortlessly. Um, it's fluffy but not too fluffy like I said. It's big but not too big. You can see the size of it in comparison to my cheek and to my hand, which is I think something you should always test out. You don't want to have this little tiny face and these little cheeks with a huge blush brush because then it's going to be all over your face you won't be able to control it. The way this is shaped, I can tape it, take it and dip it into my product or sweep it back and forth or even swirl it and then take it to my cheek and apply it in a way that's flattering and also looks very, very natural on my face. So I really like this. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush and these are available at Target. I also really like tapered brushes for blush. Now for a while I really didn't like it because I wasn't always into the blush contour type of look. I like this brush because of the way it's shaped. I like the way this brush is shaped because it's shaped on an angle. So when you are to dip this into your product, most of the product is going to be down here at the butt of the brush. And then when you go to apply it to your cheek, most of the product is going to be back here near your ear, near your hairline, and that's how it should be. Blush should taper kind of from darkest to lightest or from darkest to lightest depending on how you have your blush going. So this really helps you not only with your technique but with your makeup aesthetic. I really really like how this brush has kind of changed my views on blush. This is a very tongue twisting video so bear with me guys. Finally, I have this really fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. Now the reason I like this is it's because it's very, very soft. It's tapered well. I kind of like blush brushes sometimes with white hair. So you can see how much product you have. You can see how much you're using. And what I like to do sometimes is pick up some blush, dapple some off on the back of my hand, and then blend it up there nicely and evenly. This gives a really nice build to the blush because it is so fluffy. It's not gonna pick up too much product at once. So this is definitely one of my favorite blush brushes. 
If I had to pick a favorite blush brush, I would definitely go ahead with this Sonia Kashuk brush. I really love the fact that it's fluffy but not too fluffy. It has just enough of a round shape. It's just bulbous enough and it, it's just a really, really great brush. Um, I am stuttering so much. I always get blush and brush confused so I'm trying to be really careful when I speak so I don't have to edit so much. But I really, really like this brush. As I said, um, it doesn't apply too much product and it doesn't get too out of control so this is something that you might want to consider again this is available at target guys these are just my opinions these are not so much about the brand of the brush but kind of the make and the type of brush so you feel free to go out and get any kind of brush you want from one dollar to one hundred dollars it's all up to you guys it's more of a preference so as always guys i want to thank you so much for commenting rating and subscribing i'll be in touch and hopefully you'll do the same bye just pump some right up here and you bounce it all over your face and it helps to create fine points all over your face that spread.